Hi, David here, Lancaster Automat A to B. Here we've got a 2011 Ford KA, and it's on a 61 plate, so 1.2, and it's an Edge. So what I'll be doing in this video is just showing you the condition of the vehicle, showing you some of the features it has. So you may have noticed it's on hubcaps, so you don't need to worry about the wheels being curved at all. So I'll just give you a little shot of that one, just so you can see the design. And down the side of the vehicle, you can see the bodywork is in very good condition there. bring you a view from this side so you can see when they're kept in good condition as well. Look at your front hub cut there. And then onto the front bumper. Again, very good condition. It's only on around 20,000 miles this, so for the age it is very, very low mileage, hence the good condition. So the only area there's any wear and tear is just this hub cap. But again, they're very cheap, very easy to replace if that was something you wanted to do. Down the side of the vehicle again, you've got absolutely no wear and tear down this side at all. Again, wing mirror cap as well, absolutely fine there. And then again, same angle from the rear. There's your last little cap. So onto the boot now. Just you can see quite a bit of space there. You've got tire inflation kit underneath and there's your fluid just so now i'll just pop the seats down so they don't go completely flat in this but they definitely do increase the boot capacity so a lot better if you take the parcel shelf out but plenty of space in there for a very small car and you get a little strap there just to pull the boot shut nice and easy so then just hopping into the vehicle maybe wondering there's not much going on in the door but it's actually been carefully packaged away elsewhere so you've got your uh, wing mirror controls there so you can adjust that and then both your window switches just over here so what I'll do is I'll just pop the key in just start the engine so you can see the mileage and see that it does start with no problems nice and easily so there's the mileage first 20,374 So just to let you know, those lights aren't flashing there, it just may look like it is. Just one second, I'll just turn that radio back off, there we go. So as you can see anyway, the mileage is very low, especially for a 2011 vehicle on a 61 plate. But it does start smoothly, no issues there, it's sitting just under 1000 RPM as you'd expect. And the only light on there is the handbrake and the uh, seatbelt, because we're not going anywhere right now. So onto the features it has. So you do get radio in this model and it does have aux input. So it's just on button there, I'm going to leave it off for now. You also get CD player. So it's a fairly old school one, but it does what you need it to and there are ways to connect your devices up. And then below there, you've got these sort of air conditioning sort of controls. So you've got the temperature here, fan speed there with AC when you go low enough. Sorry, when the temperature's low enough. You've then got either whether it's circulating or recirculating, then you've got your direction there. So at the minute we're just keeping the windscreen clear because as you can tell it's a little bit damp outside. So just below that you then come onto the 5 speed gearbox and you just lift the middle bit up there just to go into reverse. As I mentioned before you've got your electronic window switches just there. Then coming down a little bit further you've got a cigarette lighter slash 12 volt power outlet, tiny little storage tray under there and then you've got your 3.5 mil jet. We've also got an ashtray there that is removable to reveal a cup holder. And then you've got a nice manual handbrake with another little storage area at the back. So only other thing to cover is glove box. Quite nicely tucked away and you've got the full box pack in there which has absolutely everything that would have initially come with this vehicle. If you want to see the images of that, they'll be available on usually the last photo I upload of any, uh, of any vehicle. So if you want to have a bit of a closer look at that, you'll find it there. But otherwise, the only other thing to cover is you've got a couple of buttons up here for your fog lights and then got another one here just for your trip computer stuff so if there's anything i've not covered in this or maybe you'd like to come down and see the vehicle in person just give us a call and we'll see how we can help you out thanks take care bye